Hey guys and welcome to another review and I have a review for you of Avatar The Way of the Water. So yeah, I already reviewed the first Avatar movie which as you already know I was never a huge fan of. Like most people I thought it looked beautiful and the world building was pretty great but the story was very generic and characters were very paper thin. Yeah, it was one of those movies that was kind of overhyped when it came out and then it was quickly forgotten by most people. So yeah, but honestly, I say The Way of the Water, in some ways it actually improves on the original, but in some ways it retains some of its problems. Let's dive in. First I'm going to say the visuals are more magnificent than ever, and this time this movie is about oceans, which for me is already a huge improvement, because I love oceans and seas and underwater, like I'm very passionate about it, so obviously when oceans and magnificent sea creatures are involved, I'm immediately all in. I just love ocean so much. So yeah, the fact that this movie was very much about oceans already very much hooked me in and makes me already like it a lot more than the first movie. The story though is still fairly generic. Some people would argue it's basically the first movie all over again just with oceans instead of forests. And I can see that. But honestly, as I've already just been talking about, I love Ocean so much that for me, that alone is already a huge improvement. But, yeah, I can see the story being very similar, because honestly, this movie is definitely made for fans of the original, which I never was. Like, it's not one of those sequels that's intended to apply to greater number of audiences. It's very much clearly made for fans of the original movie. The characters though, most of them are still very dull and paper thin and not much improvement. Jake Sully has certainly been very much improved, now he's the loving father who wants to protect his family, so that is good. And his adopted daughter Kiri is probably now the best new character and she actually has an interesting character arc that, that I can't really say any of the characters in the original Avatar movie had. And also, I was very wary of them bringing back Cole Colonel Quaritch. Like, I thought that he was done, like he was defeated, but on, and I was very wary of them bringing him back, but honestly, I actually like the way they brought him back. They brought him back in an Avatar buddy, and I actually have to give Cameron credit for actually doing something creative instead of like, stupidly, simply bringing him back. So yeah, here I give Cameron credit. And honestly, in some ways they made Quaritch more complex. They have introduced a human character called Spider, who is also Jack's adopted son, but he's revealed to be the son of Quaritch, actually. And Quaritch is shown to have soft spot for him, actually. And I have to also say I really like they made Quaritch slightly more complex than he was in the first movie, but very slightly. But now in general, that's another huge issue I have with the movie. Humans are still just too evil, like... Sure, I don't necessarily expect every villain to get some complexity, but I could introduce some more good humans. Like, instead of just having all humans be just plain evil cartoony villains, they should introduce a lot more good humans. Like, yeah, well, like, not every human is bad. Like, why couldn't they just introduce a lot more good human characters? Okay, having said that, I will say, the final battle is also amazing, like it's so much better than the final battle in the first movie. Yeah, I really love the final battle here. And also the ending of the movie, something heartbreaking happens, but I will not spoil it. Overall, Avatar The Way of the Water is in some ways an improvement over the original, but in some ways it retains its problems. Okay, so... Here is my review of Avatar The Way of the Water. Did you see it? What did you think about it? Please press the like button. Please subscribe to this channel. And I will talk to you soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye!